Hello and welcome to KD's Business Tips. Michael Lapete here in a short video to talk to you about how to build trust with your clients. Very important in business that you gain trust with your clients or your customers so that they will number one, come back to your business and two, they will talk good about you and maybe even refer others to you. So a couple things, first of all, you know, it's clear that your long-term success is based on this. So first of all is make sure this is a very high priority. It is high priority to build that trust and establish that type of relationship with the client or customer. Now, if they're a customer and they're just in and out at the grocery store or retail, I understand it's a little different, but you're still building the trust overall with the client, even if you're not building a relationship, okay? So number one is deliver on promises. Make sure you're consistent with delivering your products, your service as promised, as advertised maybe, and on time. Very important. Always follow through on your commitments. Number two is try to under-promise and over-deliver. When you can under-promise and over-deliver on your promises, you're going to be much better looked at from every point of view of every customer and every client. Be reliable. Be consistent is very important. Because if you are reliable and consistent on things, you'll have repeat business, you'll have referrals and so forth. If you're not consistent and people see the ups and downs, you know when you go to those restaurants and one time you have a great meal and the next time you go there, it's like, what happened, right? Consistency, very important, right? Very, very important. And uh, always, always, always have confidentiality as a priority. Your clients have trusted you with any information. Make sure confidentiality and privacy is high priority. No matter what your level of business is, it's imperative to build trust with your clients by having reliable confidential uh, clauses or confidential information that's kept private. Be flexible. Tailor your service or products to fit special uh, needs, maybe specific needs of your clients. So try to be customizable if you can. If you can't, it's understandable. Uh, but this shows, you know, that you are willing to work with them, especially longer-term clients, clients that buy a lot, they're regular, things like that. You want to be more customizing to them, be approachive, right? And be approachable and responsive. That's the next one. Be accessible to your clients and respond to their inquiries in a timely manner. If they're checking in, emailing, calling, whatever it is, make sure you're having someone or yourself, you're responding in a timely manner. Show accountability. If you make a mistake, acknowledge it immediately. Take responsibilities, correct the error, give discounts, give customer service, whatever you can to make it up to them. Build personal relationships where possible. Like I said earlier, if you can build the relationship by, by communication and working with them, great. If they're just kind of in and out of your store, it's a little different, but you can still build some type of relationship and then acting with integrity, being ethical in how you act above board at all times. And showing empathy. Be understanding your clients' needs or concerns. Offer support when they're going through tough times. That goes a long way. These are all ways you can build trust with your clients. By consistently applying these principles, you can build strong, trust-based relationships with your clients, leading to long-term loyalty, right? As well as positive word of mouth and marketing for your business. It works. Got any questions or comments, please post. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being a part of our business tips, and we'll see you in the next video.